Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadow Toys Photography. Today we'll be reviewing Bro Toys, RPO, Apocalyptic, Officer, Nell, or Jill from Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. I think that was the whole name. I'm not too sure. But anyways, yes, this is the third party Resident Evil-ish apocalyptic zombie surviving world Jill Nell figure. And I got to tell you, I am impressed. Very impressed. This figure head to toe looks amazing. As you can tell, interesting new parts on her. The Her like shirt part is this weird rubbery it's not cloth but it's also it's like a sculpted you see how the whole thing moves there it's like a sculpted overlay but there's the full body underneath it they didn't cheap out on anything it's really and this is regular like a nylon cloth goods cloth goods uh armband here um but yeah very uh very cool keeps that holds that shape very interesting i like how it's a mix i'm glad they didn't go full molded but i mean we're desperate for anything zombie resident evil ish so wow the boots got a lot of weathering a lot of color on there she comes strapped up guns knives the guns removal nice and removable i took the gun out yeah the i took the here i'll show you i took this one out and i took the clip out there but now it doesn't want to stay in. So I think I'm going to have to slide like a little piece of paper or something in there with it. But yeah, so really cool weapon. And the magazine does slide out there. But now it kind of hangs. Let's see if I can fix it right now, honestly. So you want my little tricks. Up, uh, um, this paper might be too big. I need just like a tiny little piece. Let's see. Kind of put that. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, no, I dropped it. Okay. If I could put this over the top of this. And then pop it back in, hopefully. Yes, no, it's not all the way. Kind of messed it up, but... Yeah, I'll have to do that again, or I just want it like more on the top of the bullet. There we go. And then slide. There it is. And fixed. See what a little piece of paper can do? Honestly, if you have a gap in the neck peg or anything like that, just a little piece of paper. That's all you need. Oh, it's getting a little ripped out of there. Oh no. <laughs> It usually works at 90% of the time, of course, when I'm doing a demonstration for the first time ever on camera, it uh, doesn't work all that well. Uh, I'm just having a little trouble here. Oh, there we go. Just have to slide that in nice. So that one comes out. The knife comes out. Move our arm out of the way there. Really nice. She can hold all these weapons, of course handgun make sure you move this strap all the way out of the way so that was like a 50 caliber desert eagle this is more of the glock family i don't want to take the magazine out of this one obviously but uh as you can see well he, she comes with the two open palm hands so whoops where'd that go but i changed one of her hands out to the weapon holding hand and okay it looked like it wasn't going to fit, but they're a little rubbery. It doesn't, the slide doesn't cock back or anything like that, but. And her articulation, let's go to her articulation. And so I pose her up. She's got the normal third party. Neck like that, right? Even the necklace moves, that's cool. Left, right, tilt, all that good stuff. Really good stuff. Here, take a look at her head sculpt real fast. You take that in. The camera is washing her face all the way out i mean she's got i see she's got pink in the top there she's got blush in the cheeks but the hd led blaring light literally five inches from her face 
nice sculpt back there. Is washing her uh, her face out, but the hair showing all those layers and highlights in there. Really nice. Really nice. Comes with the badge, which is really cool. Comes with the uh, ammo, uh, extra magazines in there. I'm sure for the handgun. Ouch. Nice. And then, okay, so I did the, the head articulation. Now the arms are weird. I can't get them out. It looks like it can, but I can't get her out to do a full T-pose. But, I mean, her arm works really well, and there is, like, a butterfly joint in there, as you can see. So double joints and then she's got the the bicep down here which I've mentioned in other videos I don't know why third part just put it right here but weird but anyways and then like this and like this so let's put her in a shoot and pose oh wow that's that was nice and smooth and easy yes it's kind of aiming a little high but that's okay Real nice, real nice. All right, let's go to the torso, which is like the newish thing here. So I'll just do upper body. Now this isn't her, uh, boobies aren't like, they're kind of squishy, but I think it's just the material because it feels hard underneath. It's not like the silicone um, Gwen, Mezco Gwen, where she was like all squishy or a Fison. But okay, it's just the upper, which is not bad. And you see the bend and the lower, oh wow, nice. That's pretty good, considering that has that overlay. And yeah, I could feel like it's like space in there and there's like the body underneath. I could really, I don't want to push it too much, but yeah, real nice. Back, is that? Yeah, it's part of it too. Back, a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to push it because she's wearing a lot of gear. Let's do a twist, fair amount. And then tilt. Yeah, nice, real nice. See, all, already her uh, straps and stuff are coming loose, so I don't wanna, she doesn't really do acrobatic moves in the game. I mean, what, a tuck and roll, maybe? And this is the Jill from the new game, I'm realizing, cause I didn't, um, I didn't play the new ones yet. I played the originals, the OGs, so you can't get on me. Uh, you know, I'm an OG player. I played them, you know, original releases. <laughs> so, and I enjoyed them. So I didn't really feel the need, double jointed knees, thigh cut. I didn't really feel the need to play the new games right away because it's kind of feel, been there, done that. But I, I've seen gameplay. I know they're good. Oh, wow. Ankles really fantastic. Should get a boot swivel? Oh, yeah. This way, wow. With the boot in there, that's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah, typical third-party female buck with the new chest there. Uh, we'll go through the rest of her, her accessories in a minute. Actually, let's put her gun away so I don't really stretch her hand out this whole thing. But I did not get the Claire, unfortunately. I just didn't like the face sculpt. I thought her nose was like a little too big. I understand she came out a lot better in person, but... It's kind of a, it's not as exciting as this one because it's like, it's like just Claire and Claire herself from the version they did is the second game is the best version or Code Veronica X. I'm not too sure what version they did, but it's just a little boring. It's so boring that they had to throw in a whole table and chairs and desk and all this cool stuff with her. So I am upset I didn't get that because of that reason, but I really, I have the Code, the old school Code Veronica X version. So... Let's go through her hands real fast. So I didn't really feel compelled to get it, unfortunately. But and I'm making my zombie team. You'll fi you'll see my pretty much all my entire Resident Evil cloth goods collection. Not my entire Resident Evil collection because I do have a lot, just not here. The old school stuff. But two fists. You can see the pegs. I switched them out. It, it is a small peg. I was nervous when I first uh, opened it, but she's has the other open and trigger so she does come with two triggers so she can dual wield when i first took the 
the handoff and too gripping. The peg is really small, so I I was so small in fact I thought like I ripped it in half. I was like, oh, but don't worry. Um she comes with these I guess um fence cutters I call them. But uh they don't work as well as like the Mezco ones or like the ones you'll get for like a dollhouse level, like Hobby Lobby or anything like that, as you can see. It's a little wonky, but it looks awesome. I mean, and it functions. You just gotta, oops, just doesn't function like a normal. And it's plastic, it doesn't feel heavy. And she could hold all this stuff, of course. I mean, I think I could just put it in the trigger hand without, yeah, so. That's good, smash the zombie's head with that. Uh, next, she comes with a little radio. Here, let me have her show you, because this is real tiny. All right, there we go. Really nicely done, and it comes with a clip in the back. So that's cool. So I tried to get it on her belt here, but yeah, I just couldn't finagle it on there, but I will. I may keep it separate. I like how that's like a separate piece. Like, oh, you gotta find the radio now in the next room. In the, uh, of course, I put the typewriter away. <laughs> she comes with another knife. It's a combat knife. Really nice. Sorry, the second game's my favorite. Uh, that music from, uh, <laughs> the whole game is just really, really good. Uh, next, she comes with this grenade launcher. Now I can't figure out, I know you can get those grenades out of there, removable grenades, but I cannot for the life of me figure out where it pops out from. Is it over here? Is, is it from down here? I really, this thing is so delicate. I really don't wanna mess with it. I like how it comes with a little string so she can kinda carry it, you know? And I think this hand could hold it the open, yeah. Doop, doop, doop. So that's good. I really like that a lot. Uh, two more, well, technically three more accessories. The shotgun. This is how I know this is from the new game because I was like, I don't remember this in three, but it was years. I played through it like once or twice again when it first came out. And uh, yeah, it was really good. I wouldn't mind a Carlos, honestly. It doesn't look like it's pump action and it doesn't pump. It looks like it's like a auto or semi-automatic shotgun. Oh, wow, you can see through the scope. Cool, real cool. Lastly, well, not really, but I thought this is some weird kind of mine or throwing ninja star or something like that, but no, it's part of this rocket launcher, which is really cool. I like how they put the fire effect in there, and of course that's removable, which is neat. I like that a lot. That's just an excellent touch. Third-party accessories are second only to Mezco and no one else. But that pops out, so you can kind of pop that out of there, right? And then I noticed on the back of the box, there's no instructions, so I am kind of winging it, that this is the back of the missile. So it shoots out, right? Boom. And then this, can, if she shoots it up, this kind of shoots up and then it kind of sprays out and then falls down. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. I like that a lot. That is really cool. Really cool. So, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm digging that. So, yeah, let's get into a couple comparisons and, uh, yeah, basically bring out the entire cloth goods Resident Evil collection here. Let's bring in a couple other figures first. Here's Mattel Elite Bailey, so you can get a idea of size. So, and this is a Valiverse Arctic Commando guy. So she is on the small side. She is third party, and they do run small. Keep that in mind. Now this is a uh, Haya Toys. This isn't technically third party. I mean, what's really third party anymore? I mean, what are you gonna call Haya Toys third party? They make, they've been around making stuff. And they just got into the 112 Cloth Goods game. I mean, Rambo is a bigger guy. However, Sylvester Stallone 
and all of Hollywood are not. Speaking of Hollywood, let's bring in Jason Statham. These Spendables. Yeah, I can't do his. Uh, can't do his voice right now. Uh, let's bring in Marvel Legends Black Widow. See, off camera, it doesn't look that bad. I think you can fudge it a bit. Here, let's bring in Mezco Spider Gwen to uh, in photography and stuff like that. You don't really need to put her like way in the foreground or something like that. You can, you know, it's not too bad. And especially if you just want to play and mess around with it, it's definitely not going to bother you. I mean, some people the scale bothers, but. All right, let's get into uh, some more third-party Resident Evil. Let's get in the Itawang and Leon. I do have Chris, that Chris on pre-order, been waiting forever for it. So, yeah, not bad. I know. Well, Chris kind of goes with both these ladies, honestly. Jill and... Uh, what's her name I was just talking about? Claire. Here's the hunk or her SWAT guy. So scales well with that. And uh, all right, one more. Let's do Alice. This is kind of the same bodies and stuff. So I think in the movies, she's a little smaller as well. So, and in the games, She's definitely smaller. I mean, in the first game, you're playing as Chris, so it's just like, let's put this one in her hand. So it's like, uh, obviously, she's going to be a bit smaller, but I'm going to get that in there. I may have to do it in the other hand. And then in the third game, I mean, she's with Carlos, so that's like, obviously, and then she's being chased by the nemesis, so... Nice. Yeah. She kind of has a scared look, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> she is uh, fighting a horde of zombies. I do need more zombies, though. Definitely need to get myself more zombies. And until I do, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow on Shadow Toys. I mean, on Instagram, follow Shadow Toys for toy sales and Shadow Toy Photography for more pictures of jill here or not jill neil excuse me and uh many others i don't know how many third parties i may keep reviewing honestly because i don't want to get anybody in trouble and i don't really i'd rather keep collecting these than worry about getting views you know what i mean so the bigger my page or the channel gets i may not review as many because i don't know i feel like it's kind of like shut up you know but i want um I want us to have these figures. I'm tired of not getting these figures. I'm tired of waiting. I don't want to overpay. I want to be able to just buy and buy, get at my leisure. And they sell out and these disappear so fast. So you can't really uh, you can't really sleep on them either. You know, otherwise, you might have to go to uh, some other marketplaces, eBay or somewhere else. But, man, that just looks really good. I love this thing and her hair. Oh, excellent. Well, be sure to uh, follow and subscribe and make sure you're all my stars. Psh.